As per usual, for a Tuesday afternoon, I was browsing Twitter. And as per usual, the algorithm had picked up on my recent obsession with Pico 8, and was showing me a whole lot of people's projects. This is when I stumbled across my first tweet cart. A tweet which contains a gif of a Pico 8 cart running, as well as all the code that is needed to run that cart. It was amazing, I copied the code across to Pico 8 and sure enough, the same mesmerising piece of art ran right in there as well. I clicked on the hashtag and there were hundreds of these amazing gifs, all made from less than 256 characters of code. Some 3D, some 2D, some showing off some incredible maths, unreadable by any reasonable human, and some creating hallucinogenic visuals, but all of them creating art. So I got home that day and decided to have a go. It can't be that hard, it's, it's only 256 characters after all. I quickly realised that I didn't know the first thing about drawing these lines, cubes and other awesome little patterns to the screen, and so began googling. I landed on this page by Pixieknot, which was very helpful, and that had not only broken down a handful of these tweet carts, going over the techniques they use, but they had also made a super handy beginner's guide, going over some of the common bits of code that are used and other techniques and so began the process of making my first tweet cart. In this cart, I used the same technique as this cart to move several circles across the screen at varying speeds in a sine wave pattern. I also learned about this dithering technique where instead of clearing and redrawing the screen each frame, you can just replace a random 6000 or so pixels with the background colour and then render the next frame on top of it. This leads to this nice trail effect behind each circle. I also learned of a few techniques to change the palette to exclude some of the colours from Pico 8's default palette. And this was the result. I quite like it, but can't remember why I picked that background colour. It's, it's not the best. Next up, my friend had this idea to try and recreate the Arctic Monkeys AM album cover, but animated and using maths, so I started by trying to render some sine waves, which worked fine, and then I tried to change the frequency and amplitude of those waves over time to make it move. I then went to make a cup of tea and came back to this. The frequency had increased to a few hundred, and because the screen is only 128 pixels across, I was left with these weird patterns as the lines were too close together to display anything else. I thought it looked super cool, so I set it to start with a high frequency and voila, a new tweet cart. While browsing through Twitter, I'd seen a bunch of tweet carts utilising 3D effects or illusions, so making something like that was my next goal. Unfortunately there weren't actually many resources to do this other than code from the tweets themselves, which I, I have no idea what that means. I did find these tweets from Mr. Pico himself, Zep, the creator of Pico 8, that went over how to make the rotating ball image from one of the demo cards in Pico 8. I promptly followed the tutorial and, to be honest, I somewhat understood it. The next step was of course going to be to try and cut two thirds of the characters out of this, which I tried and gave up on rather hastily, but still ended up with something I was fairly proud of. I also found this small demo of a wireframe cube, and I tried to create this myself, but using the dithering and trail effect I used earlier, but I could only make it about 30 characters too large. Maybe 3D stuff is difficult after all. My final attempt at tweet was this windows loading screen, but with passion. I started this by making some circles move in, well, a circle, using this code. Next I made it change colour using this code, which I copied from Pixinop's website. Now, this had unforeseen changes, and I still don't know why. I can see why this changed the circle's colour, but I cannot figure out why it does that thing with the tail. Either way, I wasn't complaining since I really liked the effect, so I once again added those nice looking trails and voila, I really like this one. So, tweet carts, they're a great fun way of making something relatively quickly as well, and I really like them.
If you have Pico 8, I'd highly recommend giving them a try. And I'm gonna leave some links in the descriptions to the resources that I used while making this video. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you were to subscribe. Um, but of course, if you didn't enjoy the video, then don't do that. And have a nice day.